video out here in Texas. This is not Texas. <laughs> this isn't how Texas normally is. But it is 12 degrees right now currently. And my fiance and I, we are walking, just walking around. We wanted to see the snow and uh, get in the, this is crazy. This is, this is unbelievable. I can't believe it that it's snowing like this, but uh, didn't have to go into work today. Thank God. And uh, I'm just here enjoying the snow, just taking it in a little bit. We're not gonna be out here long, but yeah, this is awesome. That being said, I wanna thank those that have already liked and subscribed and I appreciate all the comments. Um, really means a lot. Uh, you know, by no means am I a professional poker player, but I am a learning player and uh, a passion for the game. So all the comments that you leave, feedback you leave definitely helps and I really appreciate it so yeah just trying to soak all this in man it's getting crazy out here 12 degrees it's nuts without further ado let's get into the vlog but before you do please hit the like hit the subscribe button and comment down below leave some feedback I'd really appreciate it and uh yeah enough chit chat let's get into the vlog all right hello everyone welcome back to vlog number four as mentioned earlier in the title this is a home game we buy in for a hundred dollars with a 50 cent one dollar blind first hand of note we are in the big blind position with queen of spades jack of diamonds we decide to check our option board comes out five jack nine rainbow we decide to check to induce others to lead out and no one leads out when the turn comes, the eight of clubs, we thought this is a good enough board to bet on with our gut shot and top pair. We lead out for $2 and we get two callers. So still three ways to the river. The river comes out a pretty good card. It is the jack of clubs. It does put the flush draw out there. However, we're not too concerned about run runner flush. We go ahead and lead out for $5 and one opponent folds pretty quickly my primo who is in the tank he says out loud that he's not too sure he feels like he'd be donating if he makes the call and goes ahead and makes the lay down so good lay down by him good fold primo made the right decision so we take the first win on to the next hand. Alright, second hand of the vlog, we have Ace Jack of Clubs. We are in the button position. Uh, in this particular hand, I made a mistake by not raising on the button after it limps to me. I should definitely be raising, especially when my opponents are showing weakness by just limping to me. Anyways, flop comes out. Queen of Spades, Jack of Hearts, Nine of Spades. We have middle pair with an over card. Onto the gun leads out for a dollar. We're getting a good price to make the call and continue and evaluate a turn. The turn comes the king of diamonds. So this board is getting pretty coordinated, pretty wet. We decide to lead out for $5, expecting to either get called or raised, but instead our opponent folds. Let's listen to some table talk, because apparently I was bluffing. They say it's the win. I had a good hand though. What's this one coming on, man? I don't know. I'm, I'm, gonna, watch, I'm gonna watch this next one. <laughs> I better hear something. The guy next to me was very handsome. <laughs> okay, here are the benefits of a home game. Number one, always a good time with family and friends. Number two, buy-ins and blinds are cheaper, so it's cheaper to learn and make mistakes. Number three, hurts less to lose $50 than $250, right? And lastly, number four, no hourly rate, no rake, pure profit. Hand number three is already underway. We are in the small blind with queen nine of diamonds. We decide to limp in and the only reason why is because I noticed big blind was already reaching for chips. Looked like he wanted to make a raise. So we limp in to see what he does and sure enough he pops at $3. Under the gun, quickly makes the call. 
we're definitely getting a good price to call pot odds are roughly a little under four to one so we decided we're going to go to make the call and evaluate a flop so the best way to describe this flop um, I would probably compare it to my famous secret chili recipe. I mean, who wouldn't want a uh, hot bowl of chili on a really cold day? All right, here's the finished product. Looks amazing. Can't wait to serve me up some chili. The flop comes out 996. I told you this flop was going to be good. So we definitely hit the world here and our hand is very disguised so we decide to check hoping others will bet big blind checks as well and sure enough under the gun leads out for six dollars this is pretty much a no-brainer for us but pretty much what i'm thinking of is what i'm going to do if i want to raise and we're, we're just going to make the call there's no point in raising because we don't want to scare anybody off so like i said we make the call and right after i make the call big blind quickly calls as well so this is something to pay attention to. The turn rewards us in the form of the Queen of Clubs. We check to our opponents hoping they lead out, but unfortunately they check back as well. So that's a little disappointing. The river comes the Three of Hearts. Pretty good card, safe card. We decide to check it to the big blind, hopefully to show weakness. And sure enough, he leads out for $5. Relatively small bet. Under the gun, folds. And when it's back to us, we make a no-brainer raise. So we pop it $20, $15 more for our opponent to call. And he doesn't believe us. He's like, man, he's pondering what he wants to do. He says out loud, you know what? I think I'm going to make the call. I want to see your trips. So in fact, he does call, and we show him the bad news when we take this bot down. Here's a little bit more table talk for you guys. Revenge is so sweet. <laughs> 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 All righty, guys. Next hand underway. We are in the button position, and we get dealt queen nine offsuit. So normally, this is a hand that I wouldn't play, but we're on the button. We're short-handed, side to side. What the heck? come in for a dollar if we hit the flop great and sure enough we do flop comes out 7992 diamonds so pretty good flop for us flush draws potentially there but with this particular hand we're kind of waiting to see what everybody does and everybody checks around so we decide to check our hand kind of disguising the strength of our hand the turn comes the three of clubs so it does put two flush draws on the board and interestingly enough we actually get a bet from the small blind he starts it off he bets out a dollar and a big blind ends up folding under the gun calls the dollar and then we also get a call from uh, the hijack so I decide this is a perfect time to raise it up and I do I bump it up to seven dollars I get um, kind of heckled for it, for raising it so large, I guess, in their eyes. And interestingly enough, small blind decides to go ahead and come along. When he gets to the under the gun, he contemplates calling. He even says it out loud. He really wants to call, but uh, eventually decides on a fold. When he gets to the hijack, he makes the call. So now we're going to be going three ways to the river card the river card actually comes out pretty awesome for us it is the three of spades so now we boat up we're really hoping that one of our opponents have some kind of pocket pair hand that they want to maybe go all the way to showdown with such as pocket tens pocket fives um, even somebody with pocket sevens would be great uh, unfortunately, when it gets to both small blind and the hijack, they both check to me. So I go ahead and take the initiative and lead out for $17, hoping that I can get one of them at least to come along. But unfortunately, after some time, they all decide to go ahead and lay their cards down. So we go ahead and scoop a nice little $44 pot. We end up uh, showing the queen of clubs to our opponents and 
get a little view of the board. On to the next hand. In this next hand, we have ace king offsuit, and we are in the cutoff position. Part of being a poker player and a vlogger is that there is a lot of spotlight on us vloggers when we make certain mistakes. Um, but that's okay. That's come. That comes with the territory. It is what it is. But heads up, we do make a little bit of mistake in this hand. In this particular spot, we bump it up to three dollars and fifty cents. The button, who is actually my good friend named Alonzo, shout out to you, sir. Just a little history of him. He is a an aggressive player. Uh, he's also an opponent who knows me very well. Uh, we discuss a lot of hand history together. So he decides to go ahead and come along. Small blind folds his hand. And when he gets to the big blind, who is another aggressive player, another good friend of mine, he decides to come along as well. So we're going to go three ways to the flop. Flop comes out ace of spades, queen of diamonds, three of spades. So this does give us top pair with top kicker. Big blind is first to act and he decides to check it over to us. So when he gets to us, we lead out for $7. Button decides to come along. And then when he gets to the big blind, he splashes the pot and makes the call. <laughs> so we're going to go three ways now to the turn. And the turn comes the Ten of Hearts. So this does put the straight draw possibility, gut draw, straight draw out there with King Jack. Um, Queen Ten now got there, improved. So we decide to check it around, and we're going to go three ways to the river. River comes out the Six of Spades, so this board's getting a little worse with uh, the flush draw now uh, obviously there. Um, when Big Blind checks to us, we check. We're thinking that the button's going to lead out some kind of a bet, and if he does, I'm just going to go into a check call mode pretty much. Uh, but instead he checks, and so we show down, and I end up winning with top pair. Um, don't know if I played this well or not. I'm thinking that I should have definitely bet out on the river since it seemed like no one was interested. Let me hear your thoughts, guys. On to the next hand. Remember in an earlier hand I mentioned, Revenge is so sweet. Well, this is the hand that I'm referring to, so enjoy. I have pocket tens in the small blind position. Folds all the way to the hijack who decides to limp in for the dollar. When it gets to me, I go ahead and raise it to four dollars. Big blind right next to me makes the call, and so does the hijack. So there's going to be twelve dollars in the pot, and we're going to be going three ways to the flop. The flop comes out 4, 8, 6 with two spades. Pretty safe board for our hand. We decide to lead out for $3. This is definitely a mistake. We should be leading out for $6, $9. Um, but that's what we do. We make it 3 bucks, And Big Blind makes the call pretty quickly. So it's a no-brainer. And when he gets around to the hijack, he decides to fold his hand. So we're now going to be going heads up to the turn. The turn comes in the form of the eight of clubs. So it does pair the board. So we go ahead and lead out for seven dollars. After this bet, big blind goes ahead and pops it to 17. So he re-raises us ten more dollars. We're getting a pretty decent price to call. However, this is an interesting raise. Could he possibly have the nuts with 7-5? Maybe they're suited with spades, so has the flush draw and hit the straight on the flop. Maybe he has an 8. So after some deliberation, we go ahead and make the call, hoping to improve on the river. The river is the 9 of hearts. So all flush draws miss. But we decide to check it to our opponent. We don't want to put any more money in the pot and then him re-raise us. We want to see what he does. And after we check to him, Big Blind bets out $20. So with this bet, this pretty much tells us that he, he has the hand. He has it made. Uh, we're beat here. We're If we re-raise, we're basically just re-raising to bluff him off the hand. And I don't see that happening. So... 
we go ahead and fold this hand and um, sure enough after we fold our opponent asks if he wants us to show and I say sure why not do it for the vlog and he's kind enough to show pocket nines so we were actually ahead the whole way until the river the river gave him the nuts he bowed it up so I think we uh, we dodged a bullet there we lost the minimum for sure so this was the hand that I was referring to as the revenge is so sweet. So we end up the previous hand winning our money back. So nice hand, Alonzo. Final hand of vlog number four. We have the beautiful pocket rockets. We are in the hijack position. After a few limps to us, we raise it to $3. When it gets to the button, the button re-raises it to $10. So when it folds to us, we go ahead and re-raise to $20. The button decides to shove his remaining stack, which is a little over $50. And obviously no brainer for us, we go ahead and make the call. So with $120 in the pot, we go heads up, running the board out. We show our hand and we are good. It breaks all the way. Our opponent has ace king offsuit. So we scoop this pot. A really, really nice pot. Nice way to end the session. We play for a few more orbits and everybody decides to call it a night. Like I said, guys, home games are extremely fun. A lot of great conversations, great company, cheap way to learn the game and play. We go ahead and end the night with the cheers. Hey, appreciate you guys. Salute. 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 Here are the vlog's results in the game for $100 out for $240. Not too bad for a 50 cent dollar blind game, huh? That's what I'm talking about. The next two clips that you're looking at is actually a sneak peek into the next two vlogs that are going to be coming out. We are playing outside of Texas. So, if you guys want to guess at it, comment down below. And the first person that gets it right to tell me where you think we're heading out to next time, I'll give you a shout out on the next vlog, all right? This is going to be a two-part series, vlog five and six. So trust me, you're not going to want to miss out. So make sure you hit that like button, the little bell button, so you get notified and subscribe. Until next time, peace.